Okay guys, it's Noah JC1. I'm bringing you guys my first um, black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one's against Cameron. I forget all the numbers has to his name, but yeah, it's Cameron. Um, I'll leave a link for his channel in the description. So let's start the battle. Oh gosh. Um, yep, challenge by Cameron, blah blah blah. Hurry up. So I leave with my Colba Leon. I think that's how you pronounce the name, Zeus. Um he leaves with his special attack lady skin. I just decided to get up a sword stance just so I can wreck some stuff, you know, destroy some stuff. I'm trying to go through his whole team real quick, but he predicts that and goes for the Will O Wisp. Don't know why he didn't just go for the fire move, but so now my physical moves are going to do dip crap, and this does over half, which I was surprised, but he goes straight for the flamethrower now, and kills me off. So I don't know why he just didn't go for a flamethrower in the very beginning. Don't know. But now, send him my Wash Rotom. Um, I actually like Rotom in this game. It's different forms because it changes type completely in this game. Which is cool. Better than in the older games because in those games, just, um, changed its appearance and got one of the typing moves. Well, back to the battle. I Volt Switch killed off his blade skin, so now I send in my Afro Sheep, which is Yerfoon, but I like... I like the Japanese names better, so I'll be saying the Japanese names a lot instead of using the English names. I think the English name for this is Wimsicott. Um, I knew I could take at least one attack from this thing, so I stayed in. Not I did not know it was going to go for the um, Fire Blast, but it does. And that, with the Sandstorm, does a huge chunk of damage, barely survive. My Afro Sheep has leftovers on it, and I got leftovers and Leech Seed now. So now I'm back up to 40 HP. That actually gave me a lot of HP thanks to T-Tar's HP set. Switch right back into my Wash Cycle, and he switches out too into his Meatballs, which is his Onyx. It's a pretty good name for Onyx. Now that Dance and Snake is just dancing on the field. Don't know why you'd be dancing in the middle of the battle. Oh, they're both dancing. It's like a dance party. Rotom's dancing. Onyx is dancing. But anyway, he switches back into Jolteon. And just to break the sturdy, I go for Hidden Power. I have a Hidden Power Fire on this thing. Kill out the grass types. If you're wondering. um, He goes for the Volt Switch. Which I pretty much expect it, but... Uh, it does a decent amount of damage. It does a little bit over half. But... Um, I just go straight for the Hydro Pump now, expecting it to um, hit the Jolteon, but instead he switches out into a Scyther from the Volt Switch, and Scyther takes a big chunk of damage and barely survives that. So now I'm going to switch out so it doesn't die from any attacks. Expecting an Aerial Ace, I'm going to switch into my Optimus Prime um, to take it, and he gets a crit. So, now, Sandstorm jacking him up, and I don't get hurt by it, because me and Sandstorm are best friends now, but I'm a Steel type, so I don't get hurt. He sends back in his T-Tar. I expected him to switch out, so I just set up my Stealthies, Stealth Rocks, and now his Scyther is basically just Death Balder. Now I go for the Super Effective, plus Stab, plus Steel Gem. Um... Bullet Punch, which does a huge chunk of damage, because I expected Fire Blast to kill me off here, and I'm pretty sure uh, T-Tar is faster than the Metagross, but I, fr I freaking survive with like 5 HP left, and I pwned the T-Tar with a Bullet Punch, which was great on my part. So now he sends in his Meatballs, and Onyx's, I'm pretty sure this thing does not have the Evil Light on it, or the evolution stone as most of the people know it and it still took that very well 
for super effective and it's a Metagross. That is a very defensive, bulky, physical Onyx or Mute Balls. But he goes for Stone Edge. I don't know why. That was sort of risky. I would have went straight for the Earthquake because if Stone Edge missed, that would have sucked. But anyway. So I go back into my Afro Sheep or Yurfoon and go for the Giga Drain. And Giga Drain is going to wreck some stuff and destroy his meatballs. Got hungry. Had to eat some meatballs. Only thing on the field to eat. So now Meatballs is now inside Afro Sheet's stomach. And yeah, I burp, get the leftovers from Meatballs. Um, sends in his Jolteon now. Jolteon. Um, I go for the Elite Seed. I have Prankster. Hold up, be right back. Alright, back. I go for the Elite Seed. Now he goes for the Volt Switch. That was terrible planning on my part because now Leech Seed was just a big waste of turn so and now he goes into his Blastoise he wouldn't go into a Scyther because the Scyther is basically Death Falter um but yeah this is his physically um his physical um Blastoise and it's um physically bulky. It's physical and physically bulky. Um, so this time I just decided to go straight for the Giga Drain. And it does a decent amount of damage for a year of Um, and now Jolteon's living on with like 1 HP which is a bunch of bullcrap. And I get my leftovers for Meatballs. Still getting them leftovers. So now I just go for the Cotton Guard just cause I know Sandstorm would kill it off, so getting prepared for the blast toys. Just in case it was physical, because at the time I didn't know it was physical. Um, but Thunderbolt leaves me with 4 HP left, and of course Sandstorm hits before my leftovers, so I die. So Afro Sheep and his Jotan goes down. Now he sends in his blast toys. I send in my um, wash cycle, which is my Rotom, and um, we both take stealth rock damage, and after that, I just go for the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt kills it off easily. Um, so now I get hurt by Sandstorm, and his last Pokemon, Scyther, comes in, takes stealth rock damage, and dies. So this was a very good match, my first black and white Wi-Fi battle. Thanks for viewing guys, subscribe, comment, and like. I'll bring you guys some more videos. Thanks.